Hello everybody, this is Matt with the Hardcover Comic, and I have another custom bind that I'm going to show you guys today. I uh, just got this actually in the mail today. Super, super excited to show you guys this. It's a beautiful, beautiful book, and I, I couldn't be happier with it. Um, shooting this old school style, but uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and just dive right in, shall we? So, I purchased this book um, from Dakota, straight up from Heroes Rebound. Uh, they had a bunch of books that they had done that they were parting with. I, you know, asked to see what all they had. He sent me over a bunch of pictures. Um, and then lastly, he sent me this and I went, Ooh, that new gods is intriguing me. What is that one about? So this one, actually I'll get to the goods here in a minute. Um, is the run that took place like in the late eighties to early nineties. Um, so yeah, it was the run that took place in the late 80s, the early 90s. I think it was technically volume three, I want to say. Uh, but, uh, it's from what I've read and from what I understand, it's a really underrated run. Uh, it's a run that a lot of people don't know about. A lot of people don't really talk about. It's just sort of one of those things that sort of flew under the radar. So before I bought this, you know, I liked the new gods. I liked the fourth world stuff. I, I wanted to see if this was even going to intrigued me so i did read a few issues digitally just to see if this was something i was going to enjoy um i enjoyed the issues immensely i thought it was a lot of fun uh read a bunch of reviews about what other people thought that have read the entire run and uh, everybody agrees it's, it's a huge underrated run that really deserves more attention so uh that being said then after the reading the few issues i did i was like i'm sold let's do this so i bought this straight up from dakota um at heroes rebound I asked him the story behind it. He said basically it was a bind that they did uh, previously that wasn't 100% uh, the way they wanted it. So they redid it. There's the spine for you guys. Uh, so they redid it because he just he just wasn't happy with, with what they did. Um, so that's kind of the story behind it. And then they just sort of had it. So this is the one that's going to be uh, by Paris Collins and Mark Evanier. Um, this is the run that they did. Sorry, I couldn't remember their names, um, at first, but yeah. So Paris Collins and Mark Evanier, and, uh, he told me, Dakota told me when I was asking him about it, he said that he really wanted to have a Kirby-esque feel to the book. Like that was something that he was really kind of aiming for and going for was this Kirby-esque feel. Um, so I think he nailed it. I, I really do. I think he did an amazing job. Uh, I absolutely love... Uh, characters on the bottoms of spines like this, like my Ghost Rider bind and a couple others I have, I specifically requested that. I always liked that. I thought it was cool. Now here's the kicker, man. This is so cool. This is a, this is a rare thing that you see in custom binds as well. I've seen it a few times in some of the stuff that Heroes Rebound has done, but uh, in other custom binds, it's kind of a rare thing to see. And that is when you open it up, the inside board art. And uh, they did this really cool, you know, sort of pixelated uh, Dark Side Orion battle here that I, I really dig. You know, and like he said, he was going for that Kirby-esque feel. And I think that adding this in there, not only does it make the book stand out more, but I think it's a really nice touch. Um, so, open it up. They did create a little title page there. Contains New Gods 1 through 28. Evanier and Colons. That's that entire run. Like I said, that ran in the late 80s, early 90s. And these are bound with single issues. As you can tell when you open it up there, these are all single issues. And so they're because there are single issues that came from the late 80s and early 90s, boom, you have this beautiful, beautiful newspaper print um, that I love. And it's it's solid stuff. I'm I love it. And I asked Mike actually about this picture once when I was reading this issue and he said he wasn't really feeling that dark side, but I said, I don't know. There's something about it that I really dig. I mean, I know it's different. It's not your typical dark side, but there's something about it that I really dig. So yeah, kind of get you guys, uh, they did an amazing job on this heroes rebound. You know, I've, I've had some, I've had a few books in my hands that were done by them. And some, you know, I thought were pretty decent. Some I was like, eh, I would have done this, 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 and this differently. But those, to be fair, were binds that were done a few years ago. Whereas this is a more recent bind. I truly think that after looking at this, that they've grown as a company. I think that the product that they produce is uh, 
a lot better than some of the stuff that I had gotten my hands on previously. Not saying that all of it before was bad by any means, but I definitely think that this was, uh, this is definitely top notch stuff. I messaged Dakota. I asked him, you know, for some more details on the book and, and asked him kind of what heroes rebound turnaround time is right now. I didn't get a reply back on that, unfortunately. So I don't know what their turnaround time is, but if you are interested in, uh, graphic covers, Heroes Rebound is a good place. Omaha Bound Entertainment um, is another good one if you're looking for those graphic covers. They both run around for all the bells and whistles and everything. I would say anywhere between $65 to $75 a bind. Um, you know, And that would go for Omaha Bound and Heroes Rebound. Um, otherwise, if you're looking for just cloth binds, I would recommend uh, Herring and Robinson. If you're just looking for those cloth binds. But yeah, like I said, I think... Uh, I think Heroes Rebound did a really amazing job on this. Um, I, I'm absolutely in love with, with the book itself and the material. and I love that they trimmed all the pages. Other books I've had in the past from them, the pages weren't trimmed. So they were all sort of, you know, they were all off, off kilter, so to speak, and, and whatnot. But these ones, all the pages are trimmed, so they all feel really nice and smooth. Um, it's got the ribbon bookmark, which you guys all know I absolutely adore and love. It's got the headbands and tailbands there, that kind of orangish yellow. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's a really awesome book. Oh, and then the same thing in the back, too. They did the, in the, in the back here, they did the exact same board art there. So, like I said, the board art looks really good. The bind itself looks really good. I'll show you guys the top here so you guys can see. They did, uh, you know, and other binds and things that I've seen from them too. When it comes to like this over here, sometimes you could kind of see uh, where it had been bound. Like they weren't like jogged up and matched all the same. And but this one, it looks great. It really, really, really looks good. I love this book. I think they did an amazing job on it. I'm really impressed. Um, I wish that, you know, he would have gotten back to me as what their turnaround time is so I could let you guys know in case you guys are interested in them. But worst case scenario, just go on to Facebook hero. Just look them up. Heroes rebound on Facebook. If you're interested, uh, they are the ones that did this really amazing job. I couldn't be more impressed. Uh, I I'm in love with this book. I'm really excited to dive in and read it. And, uh, yeah, so check them out. Heroes rebound on Facebook and until next time, the power is yours.